This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest three minute forecast and everything that you need to know about the potential severe weather outbreak later this afternoon. Temperatures out there this morning, we are all mild out there. It's all in the upper 60s or low 70s across North Texas. Temperatures by lunchtime will rise into the mid to upper 70s, lower 80s back out to the west where drier air is currently ongoing. And eventually by about four o'clock this afternoon, before the storms fire up, most of us should get into the low and mid 80s. Uh, upper 80s and lower 90s back out to the west again closer to areas like Abilene and Wichita Falls obviously we have an enhanced risk of severe weather for today that includes all of DFW and almost all of North Texas so something to very well monitor this afternoon will be that potential for a few discrete supercells potentially posing all modes of severe weather including damaging winds large hail and also a few tornadoes which one could even be strong so a lot to watch this afternoon in terms of the severe weather potential off back to off to the west Wichita Falls is currently under a bit of a slight to marginal risk so basically most of the severe weather should exist in the dfw area and as well as uh central texas so this will be something to watch pretty closely looking at the hail potential for this afternoon most of us should have that potential for up to baseball maybe even tennis ball sized hail so this will be something to watch very closely we have a lot of lift in the atmosphere trains lead to that potential for very large hailstones and that includes anywhere in that hatched zone which includes all of dfw we also have a 30 percent chance of hail within a 25 mile radius anywhere in the north texas region in that red shaded area so a lot to watch again for that potential for some hail 20th thread is on the low side but it does definitely still exist a couple of tornadoes might happen and i can't even rule out maybe one strong tornado so it'll have to be something to watch as well very closely this afternoon into the evening hours let's take a look at that future radar for you so this morning we might see a couple of showers or a rumble of thunder can't rely on an isolated storm similar to what we saw yesterday uh during the morning hours where we saw a couple of storms move through the metroplex that can't be ruled out again today eventually by about three four o'clock we'll start to see discrete supercells firing up back west of i-35 and this is where that threat for very large hail exists and maybe even a low-end tornado threat eventually by by about six o'clock you can see these storms get closer to dfw one you know as you can see here south of uh i-20 and also one closer areas like denton county as well as wise county and that also could potentially pose a very significant hail threat and at least some damaging winds by eight o'clock we should start to see these storms weaken due to the daylight heating cap should come back and we should be able to see a uh, pretty limited amount of storms anywhere after about eight nine o'clock in the evening so after that it should be pretty much drying out for us wednesday we also have a chance for severe weather it's a marginal risk in dfw slight risk in eastern dfw and then back off to our east and eastern and northeastern texas and enhanced risk of severe weather might even be a moderate risk of severe weather way back out to our east for wednesday but there could be a couple of storms during the morning hours a line is expected to kind of develop you can see here's the future radar so right around five o'clock some storms developing in the metroplex by six you can see these storms really start to become more pronounced this will be a line of storms so damaging winds up to about 65 miles per hour possible as well as maybe a quarter sized hail threat eventually by eight o'clock these storms start to move out of our coverage zone and then eventually we will be drying out for most of the rest of the day so uh dew points will also drop throughout the day we should be in the 40s on wednesday afternoon take a look at the temperatures going into wednesday morning we'll be in the upper 60s for most of us if you see some storms you'll drop into the low 60s eventually that cold front moves through during the daytime hours so you can see temperatures dropping back off to the north 81 in dallas at lunchtime in comparison to weatherford where it's only 71 sherman 70 or 65 excuse me eventually by about four o'clock most of us will be in the upper 70s and low 80s and we'll see a pretty big drop off in temperatures this is only at one in the morning thursday just kind of give you an idea we'll be in the 50s we'll likely be in the upper 40s for lows heading the thursday morning with a little bit of a cooler forecast ahead here's your latest north texas weather center seven day forecast you can see temperatures will be on a bit of a roller coaster throughout the week by thursday highs will still be in the upper 70s friday in the mid to upper 70s saturday will even be still pretty warm into the 80s as well as sunday but we'll see a pretty strong cold front come through on monday which will drop our temperatures down into the 60s for highs and maybe even the upper 30s for lows this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting birdies pro turf and all dense repair